Hello, this is going to be a tarot and oracle card message for all signs. This is a general collective reading. It is not a personal reading, so you need to use your intuition to know if this message is for you or what parts are for you. Okay, we're going to use this deck here to find out what the first message is or what this message is going to be about. Okay, so there's something going on here about your feelings, about something that happened in the past. Maybe you've been thinking about it. Maybe you've been, you know, contemplating. I don't know if this is somebody coming back from the past or for some reason you maybe have been thinking about it and they want you to use your intuition. This might have to do with protecting yourself. This could have to do with attitudes that you had in the past that you had so that you could protect yourself because you had a history of going through a certain situation and you didn't want to repeat that. I also feel like the divine is showing you signs and synchronicities. On the back, it says signs. Somebody regarding the situation might have cancer in their chart. So that's what we're kind of diving into right now is just, yeah. So this, this confirms that. It says, as you did in the past. So this is definitely talking about something you've done in the past, using your intuition to protect yourself because of situations that happened in the past. This also says, do what makes you feel secure. You wanting to get, you know, support from somebody. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I have been sick lately, so I still have a bit of a cough and a stuffy nose. So hopefully you don't mind how I sound. And I think what's important is the message spirit is trying to give to you. So, yeah. This talks about your home base or your family. So I think you need to get support from your family your home base, your friends, your family, whoever you can get support from. So do what makes you feel secure. Be around people that make you feel secure. But at the same time, they're wanting you to get in touch with your feelings or you have been thinking about your feelings. Maybe you've been doing some shadow work and thinking about, it says attitudes from the past using your intuition to protect yourself or others. A situation that results from a history in a, in a situation, okay? Let's find out some more about what kind of advice they have from you or what you should be doing in this situation. Maybe hurt somebody hurt you in the past and you're just not wanting to repeat a cycle okay can you tell me more spirits and you've been wanting maybe to stay in your your comfort zone here and just be around people that make you feel safe and secure i feel you but what's your advice is what i'm trying to find out it does say do what makes you feel secure, so that could be a spirit saying that's okay. Be around your home base, your family, whoever makes you feel secure. Okay, so these messages that I'm about to read I don't know if those have to do with the situation. 
maybe they were telling you in the beginning to use your intuition to protect yourself, or they might have just been pointing out that you're doing these things so that you know this reading is for you. Um, but it also, it does say do what makes you feel secure. So I do feel like they are giving you kind of that go ahead that that's what you should be doing, being around people, your home base, your family, around support, um, what makes you feel good, people that make you feel good. It, does, it says as you did in the past. Again, we've got attitudes from the past resulting from history of something. So you came up with an attitude or um, a thought process regarding a situation or um, I don't know if this is just not letting somebody too close to you, not letting love in, but maybe you're thinking about those feelings or you need to think about those feelings, but you can do that while you're also getting the support from you know, people closest to you. So these other messages, I don't know if those kind of tie into that message or if these are just completely separate messages, but let's start to read them. <clears throat> we'll see if it blends in. This card says, what if it isn't true? The thing you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reason why you think you don't belong, you can't do something or you won't get there or you're not enough or it's not for you. What if it wasn't true? So maybe you created ad attitudes in the past because you were hurt or maybe somebody made fun of you or something and you're feeling like you're not good enough for something, you're not wanting to put yourself out there maybe. It could be in a career, but it also could be in a love situation. And they're saying, ask yourself, what if that's not true? Go ahead and, and stay where you're comfortable for a minute while you think about these things, but it's also important to use your intuition. You're maybe you were trying to use your intuition to protect yourself. <clears throat> it says today's soul action. It's time for a soul chat. Close your eyes, put your hands on your heart, and ask the wise one within you, what if it isn't true? What else might be possible? Journal your answer. What lie do I need to let go of to reach my soul's truth? So there's definitely something that you tell yourself that probably isn't true and it's holding you back. And maybe in the past you thought you were using your intuition to protect yourself. But this feeling might come because of a past situation so let's read this one. It says, what do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? So this might have to do with, with a career situation. How does your relationship with money affect your current situation? Do you believe you're worthy? So there's definitely something here about you feeling, telling yourself a lie and telling yourself you're not good enough for something. And it's stopping you from doing something. And so maybe you, maybe this is you, you know, going back into your comfort zone, doing what makes you feel secure, doing what you did in the past, trying to get support because you don't feel like you're good enough or something, but you need to ask yourself, what if that isn't true? Do you believe you are capable of doing something? Do you trust money? Does money trust you? Money is an energy, it ebbs and it flows. You are worthy of it and it's your responsibility to heal your relationship with money as part of your waking up to the whole of you and your purpose. So that suggests maybe you're somebody who's been going through a spiritual awakening and starting to learn who you really are what you're really capable of. Today's soul action. Take a deep dive in your belief system around money. Are there any beliefs you need to upgrade to create the results you are wanting most in your life? Write out your money story. It is time for a sacred shift. What will your next chapter be? Fill in the blank. I am grateful to money because... Okay, so I'm definitely feeling like 
something happened in the past that made you doubt yourself. And so you're just wanting to crawl back into your comfort zone. Earlier, I didn't know if they were saying that it was okay for you to do what makes you feel secure. And that might be the case, but I feel like now I'm thinking, no, they're trying to tell you, what if that's not true, what you're telling yourself? And also to look at your relationship with money, because you might have a money block, because you might not feel good enough for something. This card says, what am I looking for outside of myself that's already within me? Are you looking for more guidance, confidence, peace, wisdom, love, or something else? When we search outside of ourselves, we can become overwhelmed, frustrated, and never feel quite good enough. It's time to go inward to find everything you seek. All the answers you need lie within you. Today's soul action. Breathe in your favorite essential oil. Inhale deeply into your belly. Drop your shoulders and spend some time hanging out with your soul today. Ask for what you need and be ready for the answers. So meditate to get some answers. They also want you to have more time for pleasure and play. This card says, does my life have more room for pleasure and play? In what area are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships, or with work? Is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative, wild, and playful side of you? Try to be more playful. Today's soul action. What would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? It'll lift your vibrations, that's what, right? What area is lacking this right now? Take time to play let go of any need to produce anything and just be playful for a little while. Okay, so that's what I have for some advice for you with regard to the situation of something you're thinking about, having to do with an attitude that comes from something that happened in the past. So this is probably, I mean, sure, it could have been love, I guess. We could, we could make that fit, but... I think it's probably more like career or an opportunity or a project. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go into a bonus extended reading right now where I ask spirits, okay, if you do these things, if you do whatever it is that they recommend in all my videos and in this video, What's coming in for you with regard to this situation if you put yourself out there? If you get out of your comfort zone, what will happen? And what will happen in the next six months to a year or sooner? So we'll try to nail down on timing. And I'm assuming we'll get a lot more advice cards too, maybe some law of attraction cards to find out what you can do to bring whatever this is in how you can work on whatever you're working on, whatever you're shying away from. Um, get a lot more advice for you. So if you want more on this situation, first of all, if you if this resonates, let me know down in the comment section. But if you want to watch more, go down below. Click the link that takes you to my Patreon for the bonus extended. If you want a personal reading from me, you can get it on my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. That's four ones. And uh, yeah, so check that all my offerings out um, my readings start at 20 bucks and go up from there so very reasonable prices and i make a video just like this i upload it to youtube as private so only the people that have the link me and you can see it and then send it to you within a day or two so that's how my private personal readings work they're good for the fact that these are still general collective readings whether you're in the bonus extended or here um you need to use your intuition to know if they're for you, but with a personal reading, you know, I am focusing only on your energy. So we'll definitely know it's for you. And you can ask, you know, there's lots of different questions you can ask. So go to my website to check all that out. Before I go, be sure to share and like the video. And of course, hit the subscription bell and the notification bell to be notified 
when I put out more videos in the future so you don't miss any awesome details from Spirit. All right, I'm gonna to go to the bonus extended now where we're really, really gonna dig in and get a lot more information for you to help you out in this situation. So if you're curious and you wanna know more, go down below, click the link, it takes you to my Patreon. And I will see you there right now.